Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of acronyms. In particular, we're going to be talking about the Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, or GVWR, the Gross Combined Weight Rating, or GCWR, and the Occupant and Cargo Carrying Capacity, or OCCC. Now, these ratings are very important. Unfortunately, many potential buyers and many folks that even own RVs don't either know what they're about or don't pay enough attention to them. But we're going to go into a little bit detail, actually a lot of detail about each one of those. So by the end of the episode, you're going to be an expert on what all of these acronyms mean. Okay, let's start with the largest number, which is the gross combined weight rating. So this is the total amount of the vehicle plus anything that you're towing. It's the absolute largest number. And let's use the Ascent as an example. So the GCWR for the Ascent is 13,550 pounds. That means everything combined together cannot exceed that number. So what we need to do now is we need to find the tow capacity. We need to subtract off the vehicle itself. Now that's called the gross vehicle weight rating. And in the case of the ascent, that number is 8,550 pounds. Now what is that number? That's the weight of the entire chassis and the coach and basically everything that's not everything that's bolted down. So it includes, well, it includes everything, including the things that aren't bolted down. It's everything within the van, including the occupants, the cargo, a full fuel tank, a full water tank, any of uh, the propane in the propane tank, your tow hitch, everything is included in that number. So to find the tow capacity, we simply subtract that number, GVWR, from the combined weight rating of 13,550 pounds, and what we get is 5,000 pounds. So that means that this vehicle, the Ascent, can tow 5,000 pounds behind it. Now, one thing to be aware of is that number is not necessarily what you can tow. You always have to also look at what is the rating of your actual hitch on the back of your van. And whichever number is lower, that's how much you can tow. So for instance, in the Ascent, my hitch on the back of my van is rated at 7,500 pounds, but that doesn't mean that I can tow 7,500 pounds because remember, the tow capacity of the van itself is only 5,000 pounds. So I have to take the lower of the two and that's 5,000 pounds. The opposite also holds true. Let's say the hitch on the back of the van has a rated capacity of 2,500 pounds. Well, even though the van can pull 5,000 pounds, the hitch can only pull, take 2,500 pounds. So that's how much I can tow, 2,500 pounds. So that is your tow capacity. Now, let's talk about the occupant and cargo carrying capacity, which is OCCC. OCCC refers to everything basically inside the van that is not bolted down. So for instance, that's the way I like to think about it. So for instance, people are part of the OCC, that's the occupant. Any of your luggage, any of your food, uh, any of the water in your water tank, uh, stuff like that is all a part of the OCCC rating. So in the case of the Ascent, and you can generally find this, at least PleasureWay puts this inside the doors on either the passenger or the driver's side. The rating for the Ascent, the OCC rating for the Ascent is 1,214 pounds. So that's what we have total. So from that, in order to find out how much cargo can I carry, I have to start with 1,214 pounds. Then, I need to subtract off of it the weight of, let's say, a full tank of fresh water, because I like to travel with a full tank of fresh water for the bathroom and the sinks. So a full tank, 20 gallon tank on the ascent in weight is 250 pounds. So we subtract that off the 1,214. In addition, we have to subtract off that tow hitch in the back. That's not included in the, in, in 
it's included as part of occupant and cargo carrying capacity. So that's 215 pounds. So I got to take that off. So now I'm left with 749 pounds. That's the total amount that I can have for occupants and for cargo. So now let's look at that. If I've got four adults that I'm carrying around inside of the van, let's say two, an average of 200 pounds each, I'm at 800 pounds. I'm already over my occupant cargo carrying capacity rating of 749. I'm over by 51 pounds. So I have no room for anything else. No food, no luggage, nothing else. All right. Now, in my particular case, I weigh 150 pounds, so I subtract off 150 pounds. Let's say the passenger I'm carrying is 150 pounds. I subtract off another 150 pounds. And let's say my daughter is 80 pounds. I subtract off 80. That leaves me with 369 pounds to carry cargo. That would be things like any luggage that we have. If I want to carry a portable picnic table and chairs or an outside Coleman grill, all that comes from the 369 pounds pounds left for cargo carrying capacity. Now for us in the ascent, it is a smaller a smaller van, and so there's not a lot of space for you to carry a lot of stuff anyway. So we're never going to exceed that 369 pounds of cargo carrying capacity unless we're carrying lead weights or something like that. But it is important to remember what that number is. And like I said, your you, your case may vary if you've got a couple larger adults and grown-up kids, then you're going to have less cargo carrying capacity and you need to be aware of that. So that's your occupant and cargo carrying capacity and it is included and, and put into the gross vehicle weight rating. So again for the ascent that's 8,550 pounds, that includes that number in there. So I hope that clears it up for you in understanding what tow capacity is and what occupant and cargo carrying capacity is. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see you again next time with another episode of Answering Viewer Questions. Take care. Bye-bye.